Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I don't want to be right, but I'm predicting a devastating stock market crash. Uh, inflation just today, the CPI rose, but didn't rise as much as expected, which initially the market thought was a good thing, but now it's tr uh, Dow, uh, the Dow and NASDAQ are trading down. Anyway, it's still, inflation is still going up. The CPI went up and rent, everything from rent to food prices are going up. We have, in addition to that, GDP revised downwards. We have more margin debt in the stock market than ever before in the history of this country, but as a percentage of GDP, it's around the same percentage of GDP as right before 08, 2087, so all the crashes in recent memory. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Not, nobody's talking about this in politics, so I usually focus on politics, but this is going to lead to President Trump regaining the Oval Office. Yellen warns U.S. on track to default in October. The Treasury Secretary has, has stated that, quote, once all available measures and cash on hand are fully exhausted, the United States of America would be unable to meet its obligations for the first time in our history. Okay, we might default on trillions and trillions of dollars in government debt and not be able to fund our budget. <laughs> so, so, the Treasury has been using its cash surplus to make payments since the suspension of of the debt ceiling expired last month and has employed extraordinary measures to postpone as many payments as possible to delay the possibility of default as long as possible. October is the month that uh, Congress, or I should say the Senate, Mitch McConnell and Biden have to come to some kind of agreement. And so imagine if, if he doesn't, <laughs> if, <laughs> if the U.S. defaults, on all our debt obligations, the trillions upon trillions of dollars in debt obligations. Um, I mean, just think about it. The U.S. ceases to be the the currency of the world, or the dollar stops being the currency of the world. Um, I mean, we can go on forever. We'll, we're going to have a stock market crash, unfortunately. Save your money. Hit subscribe to this channel and save your money. Tell everybody you know. H.A. Goodman is telling you, if you can focus on investing another time, if you want to focus on investing, fine. I'm not telling. I'm not giving you invest in, in, uh, investment advice. I guess you could say that I am because I'm saying save your money. But every every week, every month, if you could save fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, two hundred dollars, put it in your checking or savings account. Okay, don't worry about crypto or Tesla or anything else. Just save money for a rainy day. Because God forbid, I hope I'm wrong, we're going to have a devastating stock market crash. And it doesn't matter how much they despise Trump's personality. You'll even have some Democrats saying secretly, you know, Trump, we wish we had Trump. I, I'm even going there. It's going to be a devastating crash because we don't know, and I've talked about this a lot, there are, there are Financial Times articles on this. There are a whole bunch of other articles from different publications. We had two events, the GameStop short squeeze from Redditors and uh, I believe it was Melvin Capital, the, 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 the firm that had to be bailed out by other hedge funds, okay, because, they, because just that one stock, they lost hundreds of millions on. Then you had Archegos Capital, or Archegos, the hedge fund, small hedge fund, relatively small hedge fund, had about $10 billion to $20 billion in assets. They went under because of derivatives. Nobody knew their risk exposure in terms of the debt that they had and the margin that they had. And here's the racket and this is one of the reasons Trump can eventually, in 2024, regain the Oval Office and, of course, hopefully, God willing, become president again. 
because we didn't have any of these problems. We had him, uh, they said he was a Russian operative. That was a lie and a hoax. Uh, they said he broke laws. They never indicted her ch or charged him with anything because they lied. How can you be this criminal mastermind with tax returns linked to Putin, but the entire, all, the just, Justice Department, um, Biden's uh, DOJ, the intel agencies, the New York prosecutors, Mueller, find you nothing to indict or charge him on in a court of law. The FBI clears him for January because he never told anyone to do anything or organized anything. So they'll, all they've been doing is lying about him. But if we don't get a deal, number one, if we don't get a deal done to raise the debt ceiling, <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> Lord knows what will happen to this country. And all the debt that we've uh, taken on, all the money that we've pumped in is because of our, because of the Democratic Party, media and the Democratic Party's completely irrational hysterical, apoplectic reaction to a microscopic organism that doesn't make policy. It's our reaction to it, or the Democratic Party's reaction to it. So when, they, when people say, oh, look at Trump's, uh, you know, last year, uh, his economic, the, the economy declined under Trump. It's like, no, it was Democrats who gleefully tanked their economies. And Trump wanted to open up the economy in May. He shouldn't ever have closed or pushed to close the country at all. For a month or a month and a half or two months. But he was, it, it went longer than that. And he was trying to push the opening in May of last year. Media and Democrats said, no, 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 you can't do that. And they gleefully just said, oh, stimulus checks. You're pumping money into the economy. But getting back to the stock market, and that's causing inflation. But you have these derivatives trades where, tr where, where hedge funds and banks, banks are loaning money to the hedge funds for the hedge funds to go on margin and purchase these derivatives contracts. And if they go under like Archegos, they take all the money that was loaned with them and then the banks incur losses of billions, $10 billion in just one week with one, he one small hedge fund going under because Viacom went down one week in March or early April, no, late March. The risk exposure, the, the, the amount of debt within banks and within hedge funds is not being disclosed to the SEC or the Federal Reserve. And this should be the number one focus of Bernie Sanders and AOC, which, of course, when the... the, the Annihilation takes place on Wall Street in terms of stock prices. And you have hedge funds go under and maybe even banks and maybe even bailouts talked about. There could be bailouts, people, again. And you're going to hear the complaints from AOC and Bernie Sanders. They're not talking about it. I am. Trump predicted all of this also. He said Biden's going to tank the economy and Biden is tanking the economy. The infrastructure bill has nothing to do with economic growth in the short term. Nothing. Okay? Like, most people out of work aren't going to pick up a shovel and start rebuilding bridges. That's not going to happen. Simply saying addressing climate change isn't going to put people to work. Okay? Okay? Trump focused on the economy. We had record low unemployment. We had record low black and Latino unemployment. Record low. We had wage increases that were phenomenal. We had manufacturing jobs. And we had an economy that was bolstering highs in the stock market. The stock market is like artificially inflated now just based on corporate profits where the consumers paid more for goods and services. And you have inflation, and you have jobs misses, like 700,000 greatest jobs miss on record several months back. I mean, we're, we're heading towards a disaster in terms of the stock market. Tell everybody you know that H.A. Goodman is telling 
his viewers, the whole planet, every month save, every day, every week, save some money aside in a bank account. Don't worry about investing. Uh, investing, Just cash, put the money in a checking account or, or, or savings or savings account for a rainy day. Make sure you have, God forbid, you know, enough money to survive two, three, four, five months, as many months as possible, if your source of income goes. Hit subscribe right now to this channel. Thank you so very, very much. I will have a live stream today at around 6.30 p.m. Thank you.